Hello. Um, a couple of videos ago, I talked about the success cycle. I said there were six steps in that cycle. And one of those steps, step number three, was cobble a plan together or cobble together a plan. And a number of people came back to me and asked me, why did I use the word cobble a plan together? So I want to explain that very, very quickly. So remember the six steps. The six steps of the, the success cycle were, number one, know where you are. What's your ikigai? That intersection of passion, talent, and a business model or a career. What is that? That place where you're going to add value in the world, where you're playing to your strengths naturally. Step two was know where you want to go. And that was the whole thing of visioning. And there were three parts to that. Understanding your purpose, your why, why you, why you exist, what you're trying to accomplish with your life. Um, your operating principles, your how, how you would interact with the world, what people could expect to experience when they interact with you. And your pursuits, um, your big hero data's goal, your what, the thing you want to try and accomplish. Step three was cobble a plan together. Step four was take action, i.e. inputs. Uh, step five was notice what happens, reflect on the outcome. And step six was go back and start all over again. And that's where the step six and the cobble together the plan sort of go hand in hand. So why do I use the word cobble? Um, in my career, I've often seen people writing plans and budgets 10 years out, detailed plans and budgets 10 years out, which I always find pretty amazing. To me, it makes no sense. We can't see... Typically, we can't see 10 weeks or 10 months out, never mind 10 years. So what, people, what a lot of people call planning, I think, is really just guessing. Uh, it's just putting stuff down on paper. I just don't think we can see too far down the road. And I think the best way, in fact, to uh, address the whole planning issue is to do what I say, to cobble a plan together. To maintain sort of a laser focus, keeping very, very focused on where you are and where you want to go. Those two pieces leading up to your big, hairy, audacious goal, your pursuit, your what. Very, very clear about that and why you're doing it and how you're going to do it and so on and so forth. Being really, really clear about that. That's a very, very strong foundation. And if you have that in place, then you can, if you wish, be solid at the core and flake you around the edges. Uh, so you don't have to get into too much detail planning because you're very, very solid on the direction you want to take. And you pull a plan together uh, that makes most sense to you right now. What will advance you? What will get you closer to where you want to go, i.e. to these foundation steps? And you move into action. You document it. You move into action. You take action. They're called inputs. Um, it's also called learning. Because you take action, of course, you get results. And you base those results. You adapt. You change. You modify. There's... Um, a great quote from, um, bear with me, a great quote from a Prussian field marshal. I have to read this. His name was Helmut von Moltek. And he was the chief of staff of the Prussian army for 30 years and regarded, regarded as the creator of new, more modern um, methods of, of directing armies uh, in the field. And um, he just, he, he's actually described as embodying the, the Prussian military organization and tactical genius. And he said very, very simply, he said, no plan survives contact with the enemy. In our case, the enemy is reality. We go out into the world and we implement our plan. Uh, and a lot of people get frustrated, they get upset, they get um, uh, annoyed that things aren't working the way they want. And they don't realize that when you engage, what you're doing is you're trying out what will and will not work. Some things will work, some things won't work. That's why we engage and we go out there. And the secret is to change the plan, is to evolve, is to adapt, is to change. And then go and take more action um, and keep going. Uh, so forget about the perfect plan. Forget about, about this enormous amount of detail. Focus very, very clearly on the foundations. Um, who are you? What's your, your ikigai? You know, what value do you bring to the world? Um, you know, what's your purpose? How are you going to engage with the world? And what's your big goal, your what? You know, this pursuit, this thing you want to pursue. And keep that front of mind all the time. Pull together a plan as best you can. Move into action. Learn from the action and keep changing the plan. Keep evolving, come back and reflecting. Change the foundation if, even if needs be. And reflecting and changing the inputs all the time to get you closer and closer to the results that you want to get. 
So I hope that you found this that, that, that that's uh, helpful. And um, I'll go into a bit more detail in future videos on some of the uh, the planning steps. But that's it for now. So talk to you again shortly.